A. A Basement Benjamin Van Deer Bellows worked for a very large and busy steamship company with offices all over the world. Benjamin's office was in New York and commanded a view of the New York skyline from the Hudson River to the East River and from the Bronx to the village. Located at the top of the Cloud High building, Benjamin's office was on the 40th floor. Benjamin was proud of his office. You're a lucky man, Bellows, a customer would remark, and Benjamin would reply, The largest offices and the best secretaries are, of course, reserved for the most important people. Then he would cough and turn to one of his secretaries and say something like, Take this down, Miss Wrightwell. The next steamship from Oslo will stop at Plymouth on the way to Rotterdam. And Miss Wrightwell would interrupt and say something like, I beg your pardon, Mr. Vanderbellows, but the next steamship from Oslo will not stop at Plymouth on the way to Rotterdam. Benjamin, you see, simply did not know the things he was supposed to know. He was, in fact, not very smart. The president of the steamship company finally decided that because of his many mistakes, Benjamin would have to step down. He called Benjamin to his office and said, Bellows, I am moving you from the 40th floor to the 20th. Benjamin couldn't believe his ears. Nevertheless, he moved down to the 20th floor, where his new office was half as large as his old one. He had a view of 20th Street, with all its stalls and open markets. When customers came to call on him, he would lean back in his chair, survey his office, and say, This office, of course, is only temporary. I will be moving upstairs in a few weeks. But in fact, he did not move upstairs. Called into the president's office a few months later, Benjamin said, If you'd like me to take my old quarters on the 40th floor, I can be packed up and ready to move upstairs in a couple of hours. The president shuffled some papers on his desk and replied, As a matter of fact, Bellows, I had in mind another direction. Downstairs, to the 10th floor. Benjamin was amazed. Downstairs, to the 10th floor? He said, Whatever for? The president drew a piece of paper out of the pile in front of him and said, Remember, Bellows, that load of cargo you ordered shipped up the Nile to Cairo, Egypt? Yes, answered Benjamin. Well, said the president, it was supposed to be shipped up the Mississippi to Cairo, Illinois. The next day, Benjamin moved into his new office on the 10th floor. Although this office was only half as large as the one on the 20th floor, it had a good view of 10th Avenue and the docks. But only a few weeks later, Benjamin was called to the president's office. Bellows, said the president, you're moving downstairs. Bellows was crushed. There must be some mistake. He said, Yes, the president replied. Dozens. Remember the bathing suits that went to Iceland and the fur coats that went to the Sahara? Benjamin wiped his brow and replied, uh, Well, nobody's perfect. The president angrily responded, That's for sure. Then the president leaned back in his chair and said, Bellows, water seeks its own level and so does ability. You're fit for an office in a basement. So whenever someone has been lowered in position or rank or office, think of Benjamin, who is lowered from a 40th floor office to a basement, and you will remember the word abasement. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more great videos.